do you know how to use an optical level? Yes? Come on, let's go step by step. So. First things first, grab the tripod. This is the easy part, right? Extend the legs. I do all three at once. Wink, wink. Lock them. Come on. <coughs> yeah. Set it up. If you are on dirt, stomp those legs down. Got it. Cool. Now, adjust the legs so this platform is as level as possible. Eyeball it for now. Close enough is good. Loosen, adjust, lock, boom. Take out the optical level, place it on the platform and screw in the locking screw. Okay, up here you have a bubble that you have to get as level as possible by adjusting the legs for now. So again, loosen, adjust, lock. Okay, good, that's done. Now, rotate the device so the telescope axis is parallel with any two screws. It doesn't matter which two. Twist these two screws opposite each other to get the bubble in the center. Up here you have a little mirror in which you can see the bubble's reflection so you can center it easier. Nailed it? Great. Now, turn the device 90 degrees and adjust the third screw again to get the bubble in the center. Wow, I managed it quite quickly by coincidence. Okay, now rotate the device a couple times just to be sure to see if it didn't get misaligned. Yeah, the bubble is still in the center. Great. So, now this first focusing screw sharpens the crosshairs that are the thin lines you see inside the telescope. Adjust it until you see the lines sharply. It's good to take off glasses and tilt the helmet or so. Crosshair sharp, good. Next, with this small side wheel, you can slowly turn the device, okay? So if you have the leveling rod in some great distance far, far away, you are not able to turn the telescope so gently by hand to catch it. So that's why you turn these small wheels and slowly get to the center of the rod. Okay, and finally, this bigger side screw sharpens what you see through the telescope. So look with the telescope to the leveling rod. At first, you see it completely out of focus, but by turning this screw, you sharpen the image and see clearly both the rod and the crosshairs. And you can read the value. Easy. And now on to using an optical level itself. So grab the leveling rod, extend it to the needed length. Bing, bing. We might need another module. Okay, let's say the geodesist marked at this point a height of 222.25 meters above the sea level. You need an assistant to hold the rod at this point, always vertically to avoid skewed readings from holding it at an angle. So if you read a horizontal projection, you always want to read the correct value, right? Yeah, look through the device at the scale. Let's say you read a value of 155, write down this value and move on. Now, I can wait, I have time. Okay, now go down where you need to find out the depth of your excavation. Put the rod on the ground and again, look through the device on the scale. Read a value, I don't know, 221. And now you can simply calculate the elevation of the bottom of the excavation. So you have the reference level. In our case, it was 222.25 meters above the sea. This plus 1.55 minus 2.21 or whatever I've said, you get the point. That's 221.57, 59 meters above the sea. Thanks. Compare it with your excavation plans and you know how much to dig or fill. 
It's not hard, no rocket science. Measure four heights and you'll be a pro. The key is to know what you are adding, what you are subtracting, not to mix up plus minus signs and no problem. But if you need to check heights of big areas or mark out a datum level across multiple spots, grab yourself rather a rotating laser. No questions asked. In the next video, I will show you how much time it's gonna save you. Oh wait, what? You don't know what a datum level is? Don't bother even to think about starting a construction without knowing it. I will explain it as well. But still, if you need to determine a precise elevation at specific points, this old-school method is the best. And sure, it takes time, but it is the most accurate method for the least money you can get. And that's it. If you have any questions or if you want to see me in a different outfit, let me know. Like the video and subscribe this channel to not miss another tutorials or, or news from Construction World. Thank you. Ciao.